Docs Marine, open seven days a week from 8 to 5. Sales, rental, service, all in one place. It's at Docs Marine, 5803 Eichard Ridge Road. I'm Ralph Mangum. This is the WHKY News, and it's time now for Community Focus. Several grants have been issued to businesses and child development centers in Alexander County. Rob Eastwood went to Taylorsville and spoke with two local officials about the funding. We are in Taylorsville at the Alexander County Economic Development Corporation offices, and I'm joined by two great folks talking about some fantastic grants that have been awarded to Alexander County. I'm with Connie Kincaid, and you are with the Economic Development Corporation. We remember you from your Catawba County days. Uh, how are things going for you here in Alexander County? It wonderful. We have so many wonderful opportunities and are fortunate that we have a very strong partnership with the Duke Energy Foundation. And speaking of that, Robin Nicholson with Duke Energy, tell us what you do for them. I'm the Government Community Relations District Manager serving six counties of which Alexander is one. Okay, so some grants have been awarded to Alexander County and Connie, I'll let you get started on this part of it. Uh, tell us how you came to learn about these grants and then the application process. Our partnership with the Duke Energy Foundation has enabled Alexander County Economic Development Corporation to assist our businesses and industry in innovative solutions to their post-pandemic challenges. Um, and we are very fortunate to have our partnership with Duke Energy. All right, Robin, these grants, now these go to small businesses and also child care development centers. Is this something that Duke Energy has been doing for a while, or is this a relatively new program? We've done this for the last several years. It all started, as Connie said, following the COVID pandemic that uh, we all experienced. And we saw it as a way to revitalize some of our small hometowns and to also help our small businesses grow and thrive in our communities. There were 10 businesses who received the grants. These grants ranged from $500 to $5,000 each. Um, the ones for businesses were more for the expansion or renovation of their existing properties or um, to purchase business equipment. With the child development centers, it is more toward expanding capacity in order to be able to take more children and accommodate them in a way that is a more learning environment and do that in order for both parents to return to the workforce. Well, thank you both so much for joining me. This is uh, Connie Kincaid, of course, from Alexander County Economic Development Corporation, Robin Nicholson from Duke Energy, joining us this evening here on WHKY News. Thank you, Rob, and thanks also to Robin Nicholson and Connie Kincaid. WHKY's Ariana Mack and her guests are here to tell you about an event going on now at the Convention Center in Hickory. Every October, Clean Spores Woodworking Shop sponsors and hosts the only woodworking show of its kind in North Carolina on October 25th and 26th. The woodworking extravaganza at the Hickory Metro Convention Center in Hickory, North Carolina. Earlier, I spoke with General Manager Coleman Forche about the two-day event. This is our 24th annual Clean Spores Woodworking Extravaganza and we're excited to uh, bring this to the community. There's all kinds of things and it's all about woodworking. So we have uh, Carve It Up USA 24 competition where you can enter to win uh, gift cards for uh, power carving items. Uh, we have children's events like uh, being able to carve a puffin. Uh, we have uh, all kinds of opportunities where you can uh, jump on a lathe and uh, make honey dippers and stuff like that. Or you can uh, get on a scroll saw uh, and learn how to do that type of thing if you so desire. Uh, many, many things that are free to uh, the public to come in and try while you're here. In the 24th year, what makes you do this event? So we started this 24 years ago because uh, we wanted an opportunity to have folks be able to try woodworking without having to uh, jump in and buy a shop. So it's really about uh, the nonprofits and, and our company, Clean Sports Woodworking Shop, 
uh, setting up all these products and letting people try things before they buy. And what do you hope they take away, whether they're a woodworker or just an attendee? Well, the attendees can take away uh, absolutely getting to see some of the most beautiful craftspeople in, in the Catawba County area, but also uh, there's typically 13, 14 states represented at the show. Um, and as in a uh, woodworker, uh, there's tons of special pricing. Uh, there's tons of giveaways, and uh, one of the big things is we do a raffle uh, for a $2,500 gift card. So if you come in and uh, put your name in the hat, you have to come to the show to do it, but you have a chance to win uh, lots of door prizes, but $2,500 gift card from our company. Everything's free, so uh, make sure that you stop by today, uh, 9 to 6. Uh, tomorrow is 9 to 4. Um, there's tons of demonstrations. There's activities. There's... Um, there's a big carving competition that goes on, uh, not only the power carving I mentioned earlier, but also uh, competitors uh, show their carvings for door prizes. But even if you're not a woodworker, there's lots to do for children and there's lots to do for and lots of things to see for uh, general public. This year, there will be 50 plus vendors, many hosting their own booths and offering expert advice and demonstrations. Visit woodworkingextravaganza.com for more information. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. Thanks, Ariana, and thanks to Coleman Forshee for his time today. That's it for Community Focus and the WHKY News. Thank you all for joining us. On behalf of Rob Eastwood, Ariana Mack, Jason Savage, Robin Nicholson, Connie Kincaid, and Coleman Forshee, I'm Ralph Mangum. This has been the WHKY News.